Okay, we're going to start this meeting. Welcome to the Morningside and Glencrest Area Water and Sewer Capital Improvement Project Community Design Meeting. My name is Sally Ellerton and I do the Water Capital Project Communications. Your project manager is Zach and his contact information, if you can see the chat, um, his contact information is listed in the chat and it will also be listed in the PowerPoint. Um, this project is in Council District 8. Uh, so that is your council member, Chris Nettles, and his district directors are Sally Matson and Jasmine Tate. And I am going to pass this off to Zach. Thank you, Sally. Uh, good evening, everyone. Thank you for attending the design community meeting for Morningside and Glencrest Area Water and Sewer Improvement Project. Um, here is the agenda for today's meeting. After introduction and project overview, uh, we'll show the project area and we'll answer some of the frequently asked questions. And at the end, we'll show the timeline for the project. Your project team includes myself, um, Zach Zekar Salehi, and my direct phone number is 817 my email address is abolfazl.zakersalehi at fortworthtexas.gov. And our engineering design consultant is EJES Incorporated, and their project manager is uh, Mr. Adi, who is also in the call, I believe. This project uh, is in Fort Worth Council District 8, and construction will impact customers in the United Communities Association of uh, South Fort Worth. Morningside Neighborhood Association and the Glencrest Civic League. Why are we doing this project? City of Fort Worth prioritizes water and sewer line replacement based on the available data, including water main break history, leak history, CCTV, uh, video inspection, age of the line, line material, lead, ser <clears throat> lead service lines, and cast iron lines. What drives this improvement project? Cast iron water lines will be replaced on Old Mansfield Road, Wyatt Court, Anglin Drive, North Glen Drive, Stardust Lane, Briardale Road, Ridgeview Street, Marion Avenue, and Heather Trail. Project area uh, exists of Marion Avenue to the north, Glen Garden Avenue to the east, White Court to the south, and I-35 West and Blue Star Memorial Highway to the west. Here we have the project map. As you can see, the project includes Old Mansfield Road from Eastbury Street to White Court, and, and that's going to be a water replacement. We have Briardale Road from South Riverside Drive to Ridgeview Street, Water and Sewer. We have Ridgeview Street from Rolling Hills Drive to Old Mansfield Road, Water and Sewer. We have a Stardust Lane from Ridgeview Street to Lolita Court, Water and Sewer. We have Lolita Court from Stardust Lane to the Cul de Sac Water. We have White Court from Old Mansfield Road to the Cul de Sac Water and Sewer. We have Angle, um, Angle and Drive from Old Mansfield Road to the Glen Garden Avenue Water and Sewer. We have North Glen Drive from Blackwell Lane to Heather Trail Water and Sewer. We have Heather Trail from North Glen Drive to Robert Spirons Drive Water. We have easement <coughs> north of Bridesdale Road from 200 feet uh, northwesterly of Bridesdale Road to 300 feet uh, northeasterly sewer, that little easement north of Bridesdale. We have easement between Briardale Road and uh, Ridgeview Street from South Riverside Drive to 376 feet northeast sewer. We have easement east of South Riverside Drive from Briardale Road to 200 feet northeasterly sewer. We have easement between Ridgeview Street and Kingsdale Drive from Rolling Hills Drive to 318 feet northeasterly sewer. We have easement east of Ellis Ranch Trail from Briardale Road to 470 feet 
southeast, then 312 feet east sewer. We have easement east of Ellis Ranch Trail from Briardale Road to 470 feet southeast and 312 feet east sewer. We have easement between Stardust Lane and Old Mansfield Road from Richview Street to 480 feet south sewer. And this is another map of the project. We have Marion Avenue from uh, Evans Avenue uh, to New York Avenue water. We have Marion Avenue from Mississippi Avenue 270 feet east of Beverly Avenue water. We have easement between Marion Avenue and Mulkey Street from Mississippi Avenue to Union Pacific Railroad right of the way sewer. We have easement north of uh, East Morningside Drive from Evans Avenue to New York Avenue sewer. We have easement between East Mornings, uh, Morningside Drive and Jude Street from Evans Avenue to New York Avenue sewer. We have easement between Colvin Avenue and East Morningside Drive from Mississippi Avenue to the Union Pacific Railroad right of way sewer. And some of the questions you want to uh, have is that you need access to our property. The construction will be in the streets and easements. If City of Fort Worth Water Department needs to access uh, needs access to your property, we'll contact you. And uh, if an easement is needed for your property, a city land agent will be contacting you soon. Will I have access to my driveway? An inspector will be assigned to the project when we are ready to start the construction phase and the inspector, uh, inspector and the contractor will work with residents who need driveway access during active construction hours. Will our uh, water bill uh, be turned off? Water will, uh, will be turned off for 15 to 30 minutes roughly when services transfer from the existing line to a temporary line and once more uh, when you're transferring the uh, service from the temporary line to the new line. These switchovers are done during the day and the contractor will knock on the doors and let the customers know when the water will be turned off. Will our sewer service be disrupted? Sanitary sewer service will not be interrupted. A new sewer cleanout will be installed at the property line, which you have the you can see the picture right here and the sewer clean out will provide uh, crews easy access if a backup or blockage happens the sewer line from the clean out to to your into the house is the owner's responsibility to maintain because that's part of your property the timeline for this project uh, we are still in um, design phase of this project and uh, once we finalize the design We'll host another community construction meeting and uh, we can give you more information on the timeline of the construction during that uh, second meeting. Where, I can, uh, where can I get more information for this project? You can go to the City of Fort Worth official website, fortworthtexas.gov, and type in the project number, which is 103417 for this project. And this, uh, this will pop up the project page and the name of this project is Woodland Springs and uh, Statement from uh, Sewer Improvement Project. And you can subscribe to this page and you will get notification once you subscribe to this page. Whenever we upload anything to the page, you'll get, um, you'll get notifications. And the link to the project summary and frequently asked question will be linked to this project page. And also, you can find the YouTube video of this meeting linked to the same page. How do I report an emergency or non-emergency? For emergencies, um, you can contact 817-392-4477 and select option one. And emergencies usually include water main breaks, sewer backups, and this is a 24 hour a day service. And for non-emergencies, you can contact the same number during the office hours, which is 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. And this is uh, closed during the holidays. And you can also download the Mar My Fort Worth app from the App Store or Google Play. 
and you can you can report sewer overflows, leaks, and water main breaks, missing or broken meter leads, water tap, water violations, no water service, water pressure issues, and other sewer concerns through the same app. Uh, once again, you can see my contact information. Uh, my direct phone number is 817-392-8695. And my email address is abulfazl.zakersalihi at fortworthtexas.gov. And our uh, engineering consultant is EJS Incorporated. And their PM is, uh, project manager is Paul Addy. And with that, we are open to questions. Let me make one quick um, comment. That was my oops. Um, Zach, if you want to go back, the, it, the correct number is 103417. It just has the wrong project name in it. Yeah, yeah. So 103417 is correct. Correct, yeah. Sorry about that. Um, let's see, we've got two people online. Lavelle Harper, do you have any questions? Uh, no, I don't. Thank you. Okay. Rebecca? Yes, I do. Uh, yeah. First, my question is on that number. You just said that really quick. Is that project number, is it correct or is it not? This is not correct. The correct number is 103. Uh, Dang, just went away. I guess. 103417 is correct, but the name that's on that the slide is not. Yeah, the, the, name, the name that will show up is different from this. The name will be the same as the it should show up as morning sign in Glencrest area yeah. water and sewer yeah but as long as you type in 103 417 it will it will take you to the right page okay and when exactly is this going to start the construction um we are still doing the design so um we are looking at uh, sometimes next year, but um, before giving an exact timeline, we'll have another uh, community meeting. We'll send out uh, invites and we'll we'll give you an exact timeline. But, yeah. but we're looking at the next year to start the construction. Yeah, we'll give because this was really complicated for me. And I've been doing virtual and Zoom for years now, ever since the pandemic. But it was com it was hard for me to do the WebEx thing right. and get in. Um, so I know that others will give up, whereas I did not. And I do live on Monkey Street. I'm part of the Morningside Association. And yes, uh, Councilman Nettles is our representative uh, mm -hmm. for uh, Council at, for the eight. And what is the pastor? Oh, okay. So yeah, we that was a really fast um, summary or yeah. introduction or whatever you want to call it. I do have another question. Who is the lady who just addressed to uh, call my name? What exactly do you do? Sally Ellerton. I do the um, water capital uh, project communication. So the mailers that you get, um, I'm behind that. I did a PowerPoint, so that's why I'm taking the blame for the mistake on the PowerPoint. Okay. Well, we do have I, I, to go ahead. Well, what we forgot to say is um, this is what? This is Monday. We do a PDF of this PowerPoint, and that will be posted to the project page. We'll also do a YouTube link to the WebEx video, and that will also go on the project page. But can can you let me? What happened when you were trying to sign in? It didn't let me. <laughs> That's what it did do. Uh, I had I was on my computer. It wouldn't let me come in that way. So then I had to go to my phone, and um, just it wouldn't let me join it first. And then it said my meeting number was invalid, which I knew was not because I was looking at it. So I had to do it several times, and then. Okay. Um, finally went the password but with those type of glitches and again i'm used to doing that we still zoom even our bible study and still some things as far as the district which i work for four times deep so but i'm telling you as a product of this neighborhood i grew up in this neighborhood and the most of the neighbors most of the people here um this this 
this is good publicity for me, but for the neighborhood as a whole, that's not enough information. I mean, that's all good avenues, but they're not the that's everybody won't know it won't be well publicized they're going to need a meeting and we'll probably need somebody to come i don't know maybe to uh one of the recreation centers or one of the churches or somewhere and actually do that powerpoint so the people can be for informed and us give people uh information and we have had problems. I was raised on Ramsey Street as well, which is just a couple of streets from Mulkey. And so we have had water problems and we have had sewer backup problems, you know, over the years. And so I am concerned. I mean, yes, I'm, I'm first of all, let me say, it, we need improvement. I mean, it would be good to have a new sewer line, but I'm not against that. But I just, I do know that, um, even though I see this, oh, this is emergency. All you got to do is call this number and that, 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 that. Yeah, that's nice, but it just really doesn't happen. So hopefully, um, <laughs> hopefully we can do better in the future. I forgot to mention when we do our community construction meeting, that is always in person. Um, okay. The design meeting is kind of to give you an overall, but we always do the construction meeting in person. And Zach, we're talking, it could be nine months or more away. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And we okay. did have problems. We've been having problems with WebEx at our last meeting also. So okay. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I do apologize for the fresh. I would be frustrated too, trying to log in. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My husband never got in. He's over there just threw his hand up and he left. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you didn't give up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That was good information and I knew that I wanted to see this, but yeah, I know that people, if if they even look at this, you know, and it's not the bill, it just kind of goes, you know, well. And if you have any questions about the project, please make sure you email um, Zach. He's going to be the one who can answer those questions. Yeah, I will email you all hopefully tomorrow to let you know that the PDF or the PowerPoint is on the project page so that you can send that out to your neighborhood association people. Maybe I can show uh, how to get to the page uh, quickly. I'm going to share the okay. screen. So that's, um, that's City of Fort Worth website. You just type in 103.417 and the project name pops up, the morning side, and this will take you to this page. And at the very bottom, you can subscribe to the page. You just put in your email address, and it will notify you whenever we upload something, uh, PDF or link to the video. Here you can see we already have the map, and we have the street names and everything. Yeah. And yeah, this will this will update keep you updated. Whatever we we do, we, we usually post it on this web page. Okay. Well, then thank you. Yeah, no problem. Is there anything that we need to know about this area? <laughs> <laughs> it's changing. <laughs> <laughs> Because we go, I go in there and I, I try to say, here's your landmarks and things like that. But if you've got any concerns, you said you had water concerns, um, just email Zach and he can look into those. Okay, thank you. Well, I'm in the I'm in the Glencrest area, mm -hmm. and uh, I uh, I'm sorry that no one else uh, tuned in this evening, uh, but um, when I get a copy of this presentation, uh, I will. Um, share it with some of the people in our uh, association meeting and make sure that you know they are aware that this is coming that, that would be great yeah that's great we did send out over 680 mailers but with this heat i don't i don't hmm. i don't blame people for not joining it but um definitely um because I emailed all of you before the meeting, or I emailed the people that were on the database, and I think both of you were on that, and it had the join meeting with it, right? You're nodding. Okay, good. Right. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, also about the uh, mailers, and I know you have, we've done that also. Our mail is terrible. We have different uh, post, uh, I don't, post service people, whatever they call. Uh, our mail, my neighbor may have my mail. Uh, sometimes it's mails on another street, and it's just different people almost on the week, just, just changes all the time. So mailing is good, but mailing is also not enough. I don't okay. know, you know. <laughs> Well, I'll be sure to email you all um, either tomorrow or Wednesday with the update. Thank you. Zach, do you have anything else? Uh, no, oh, that's, sorry, that's all from me. Yeah. I'm I'm good. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye. -bye.